Welcome back to the channel, folks. I am Matt. Hope you're all doing well. Today, we are going to check out the Argus Pro and the Argus Pod Mods by Vupu. These are PNP coil pod mods. Let's go ahead and dive into it. We're going to start out with the Pro here first. Here's what that packaging looks like. So you do get this nice hard Pelican style case. And inside you will of course have your device, two coil heads, a USB-C cable, and a user manual. So here is the Argus Pro, made out of zinc alloy. Then you got these leather panels on the back here, this frame right here that also feels, feels like zinc alloy. This has a built-in 3000 milliamp hour battery. This piece on the bottom here does not move even though it looks like a battery cap says gene chip right there, Vupu on that side, your fire button, your up and down buttons, and then right there is your USB-C. Now, I don't believe this is IP67 rated, but obviously they are making it a little more rugged, but I didn't see, on, see anything on their site about it being waterproof, shockproof, dustproof. So up here, you got this little guy, that is basically for hooking it on to things like a lanyard or your belt or something, but it is kind of annoying in day-to-day -day use. Now up top here, you got this sleeve just to make your pod more durable. And then let's pull the pod out. And these are those same style of pods that we saw with the uh, Drag X, Drag S, Drag Max. So it will be compatible with those and the uh, RBAs and things of that nature that are for this whole system will work on this device. 4.5 ml capacity. Now the first coil you get is the PNP VM6 0.15 ohms rated for 60 to 80 watts and that is a true mesh coil. And the other coil you get is the PNP VM1 0.3 ohms 32 to 40 watts and that is more of that honeycomb style mesh. So I'm going to prime up this 0.15 ohm, push it into the pod and your fill port is down here. When done, just close that guy up like so. And there's what the inside of the device looks like. Like we've seen with some of these others, they have this ring right here that's magnetic, then your contacts down inside there. And this does have a draw activation switch inside as well. So let's go ahead and put the pod back in like so. And you have airflow control right here. So notice right there, it's all the way closed. Then it opens up. And you got that going on on both sides. Let's go ahead and turn the device on five clicks. So on the home screen, it says Argus, you got your battery bar, your wattage, we are in smart mode. You got your ohm load, your voltage, your time, and a puff counter. So now if you hit the button three times, one, two, three, now we're in RBA mode. We're in A and P RBA mode, which means this can be draw activated or button activated. And when in RBA mode, it will go up to 80 watts, one watt increments, and it goes, come on guy, all the way down to five watts. Now in that smart mode, it's like what we've seen with past Vupu devices where depending on the coil head you're using, you'll max out at certain wattages. Hit it again, one, two, three. Now we're just in P mode and RBA wattage mode, meaning only button activated. One, two, three. Whoops, one, two, three. Now we are in smart mode and you can do auto draw or the power button. And then we're back to where we started. Now, if you hit the fire button and the up button, that locks it. That locks everything controls and the fire button. Now, if you hit the fire button and the down button, that will clear your puffs. Now, if you hit the fire button and both buttons, or maybe it's just both buttons, no, fire button and both buttons, it takes you to this chip ID screen and I've accidentally gotten into that a couple times when I was trying to press fire button and down or fire button and up. So they didn't really need that to be an option there and it takes like 15 seconds for it to go away. And then of course, if you wanna turn it off, five clicks. 
All right, so that was the Argus Pro. Now let's take a look at the Argus. Here's what that packaging looks like. And inside of that, you do have a device. This one has a built-in 1500 milliamp hour battery. Then you get two pods. And with this one, you get a regular pod and the MTL pod, which I believe is two ML capacity. And then you do get two coils with this guy as well. And of course, a USB-C cable and a user manual. So now the first coil you get with this one is the 1.2 ohm. This one's a round wire coil, good for MTL. And then you get the VM 1.3 ohm with this one as well. We're gonna install this 0.3 ohm because I'm already using the MTL one in another device. Let's go ahead and push this coil in, fill it on up. And with this device, it's also button activated or draw activated. Let's put our pod in like so. Let's turn it on, five clicks. So a little bit different layout compared to the Pro. This one's a lot more simple. You got a battery bar, your wattage, your uh, mode, your ohm load, and a puff counter. And there's not a smart mode and RBA mode on this one. It just goes up to 40 watts. Click the button three times, one, two, three. We're in auto draw mode and power, you know, button mode, one, two, three. Back to just button mode. Hit the fire button and the up button. That locks it. These controls. It also locks the fire button. Hit the fire button and the down button. That clears your puffs. And here's one more look at that device. This one has the uh, denim cushioned back panel. Says Argus right there. Here is a look at both of those. Now here is the Drag X, if you wanna take a look at that, kind of in between the two sizes. All right guys, that is it for the up close. Let's go ahead, go up top, vape these, and talk about them a little more. All right, here is the Argus Pro. This one has the 0.15 ohm coil inside, 65 watts, airflow is wide open. Here we go. That coil's definitely their closest to like a mesh sub-ohm tank. Almost as much airflow as like your Falcons and stuff like that. Now let's go ahead and vape it without pushing the button. I've noticed with the auto drop, you need quite a bit of suction for it to work and it works better on like the MTL stuff. So I have the MTL coil in this one, closed down all the way, the airflow. 13 watts, let's auto draw that. And yeah, it seems to work better. So I don't think a lot of people are gonna be using the auto draw with the uh, direct lung coils. It's not that it doesn't work, it just seems like you get a little more ramp up if you press the button. Now, this one has the 0.3 ohm coil, 40 watts, airflow's wide open, here we go. I really think this smaller device is good for their MTL coil. There's a one ohm, 1 1.2 ohm, stuff like that. Cause even at 40 watts, this 0.3 ohm seems a little underpowered. Now going into pros and cons, cons first. First off, this thing, it jingles and jangles and it just, it gets kind of annoying. You could cut it out of there or something, but I didn't think it was really necessary. Or maybe if they, you know, had it in here tighter so it didn't, move around so much. Um, what else? Not sure if it's IP67 rated or not. I don't think it is. They didn't say anything on their site about it, but it is definitely more rugged, but would have been nice if they would have told us that. And if it's not, would have been nice if they would have gone all the way to that IP67 rating. Um, besides that, this little rubber cap here feels sort of loose on the pod. And that's really all I got. Going into pros, build quality is great. I love the uh, flecked paint job on this as well. Big ass battery in the Pro, 3000 milliamp hours. USB-C, which is a plus, takes the PNP coils, which is a plus, and all the other stuff like the uh, like the RBA here that I showed you guys with the uh, Max kit, that'll work on this. So there's a whole bunch of coils and options for this device. And I really like the smaller device here for the MTL coil. This is one I'm definitely gonna continue to use. 
really comfortable drip tip. So all in all, really nice kits. Awesome that they're making more and more devices for the PNP coils. And they're really going with this whole pod form factor where these things will work on multiple different devices as well, not just the coils themselves. Now, I'm not sure what the price on this is gonna be yet. It is gonna come in multiple different colors. Let's end it there, folks. That about wraps.